Two mothers, a 15-year-old boy and 12-year-old girl, all face charges. And tonight, WLWT obtained surveillance video from that incident. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson joining us from the Fairfield Aquatic Center with more on a story you saw first on WLWT. And I also have 911 calls made from the aquatic center during the incident Tuesday evening. As you're about to hear, one witness calls it aggressive, scary, and crazy. Do you feel like you are safe right now? Not a real. An employee of the Fairfield Aquatic Center brought to tears as she calls for help. This is what she was witnessing, a police officer and a woman arguing. Within minutes, there's clearly a struggle. A young girl seen trying to get in between the two. As they turn the corner, a group of teens surround them. They're resisting the arrest. There's one officer. They're all putting his hands on them. A park ranger is also present. There's two officers here, and they are fighting with them. They are beating up the officers and breaking out of the handcuffs. We need you guys immediately. Fairfield police declined to discuss the incident on camera, but according to a report obtained by WLWT, the incident started when aquatic center employees asked kids to leave the pool because of their behavior. One of their mothers then aggressively confronted pool staff, according to the report, then resisted arrest. At this point, police say another mother began hitting the officer. They say several kids, boys and girls, then jumped in. And everything is going crazy. Okay. And they were videotaping to try to make it look like a racist thing, and it's not at all. They were breaking our policies, and we just told them that they couldn't be here anymore, and it's really scary, and I don't feel safe. More officers arrived. They used pepper spray to get the situation under control. Two adults and a 15-year-old boy cited for disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. A 12-year-old girl also charged with resisting arrest and assault. And also, according to the police report, at one point during the fight, one of the mothers asked a child to go get a taser from her purse. In Fairfield, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. And Karen, thank you. The Aquatic Center is a city facility. Employees there said that they could not comment. We're still working on trying to get a hold of the adults involved to get their side of the story. Police say this all began when a group of juveniles refused to leave the Aquatic Center because they didn't have the proper attire. They had on gym shorts instead of swimwear. 911 Fairfield, where is the emergency? Um, I'm at the Aquatic Center, and things are a little bit out of control. These people are fighting with the cops. We need backup immediately, immediately. That call brought Fairfield police with their cruiser cams rolling to catch people running in front of the aquatic center. Police say the mother of the children arrived, but she refused to make her kids leave and then got violent. He uh, attempted to apprehend her. Another, uh, another adult jumped in the fight, as well as a, a few kids. And they began to assault our officer and our park ranger. Fairfield police spokesperson Officer Doug Day says that prompted the use of pepper spray. One officer did uh, deploy a chemical irritant in an attempt to get uh, an individual off an officer's back. Police also say one of the adults called out to one of the juveniles saying, get a taser from my purse so I can tase the officer. Three officers sustained minor injuries. Maya Dixon of Columbus and Crystal Dixon of Springfield Township were charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. A 15-year-old male and 12-year-old female also face the same charges. It's crazy. I mean, it doesn't need to happen. It was one of those incidents that we're fighting with the police because you're asked to leave a pool. Uh, it's crazy. The adults in the case have been cited to Fairfield Municipal Court later this month. The juveniles are going to be handled by the Butler County Juvenile Authority. Tom McKean out on your side, Fairfield. At one point, as many as eight people were involved in this brawl.